Today we're going over all the Air Jordans set to drop this month in November and I'm telling you right now it's a solid month. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Air Jordan 4 Pure Platinum and this is a kids colorway retails 160 bucks. What do you think about these? I think the kid are coming to school fresh with those. Clean shoe? I like it. I'm like 160 bucks that's cool that's worth it to me. Yeah. That's clean. I like the element of like the black around the toe. Mm -hmm. You know, just like playing and everything. Like yeah. you keep the shoe a little bit clean. They gonna that be on part, you know what I'm like saying? Just like those elements to mm -hmm. it. But still having like a fresh color and the different hits with the jump man, kind of having that uh switch up right there with like that gel jump man. Like and it gives jewel. it a kid vibe. With yeah. That. You know. Yeah, I like these. I think uh it's a solid shoe. Now 160 bucks though. Well, he gonna mow some lines. <sighs> but I think it's him, worth it. Have to put them to work to get those. Yeah, yeah, he ain't <laughs> just gonna get those. But it'd be a birthday or something, you know, some real nice. You know, that first day back to school. Imagine the first day back to school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel that. I feel yeah. that. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Next up right here, the Airship Awake New York. Now remember this was the red colorway? Right. It was like the snake skin and everything, and we saw the red and the blue in the picture. Uh -huh. So they released the red colorway, like whatever that was, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. It was like a dope jacket and all this other stuff, and now they have the blue colorway right here. What do you think about these ones? Blue is my color. The only thing is, is you know how I am when they go to that, the the soul being that oddball color. Mm, like that age look? Yeah, that age look be killing me because me personally, I wanted to age with me, not just show up aged. Right, like you wanted to be fresh. And yeah. put that time in. And yeah. they put that age look even on the outsole. So we saw this with the Air Jordan 1 KO back, I don't know, 14 years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that people were like, what is going on? What are they doing? And then it became like this era of the sale midsoles. And then now it's coming back to this aged midsole, similar to the KO Air Jordan 1 from back then. Right. Uh, and it's definitely a lot of people on the fence. It's like, I like it. I don't like it. Uh, like, yeah, the, but with you know the saying? A there, like the, the snake skin, like all of it, all that vibe is cool. Yeah. But it just, I'm struggling with that eyeball sail color, whatever you want to call it on the bottom on the, so nah. This, this is an example. This is the pair I'm talking about. But see, now when you, when you think like it was still, now you feel it's like for me, I'm going, okay, now it's older. So I, okay, I would accept it, but like, I don't want to get it brand new. This is an aged look. Yeah. This is what they did. So this that you're seeing on the, right. that airship, it's going to look like this. And you see how they got the old, like, crusty bottom yeah. and everything? Like, yeah. this is how it came brand new. Yeah. And then we got this, which was, like, more of, like, a sail, not a pure white. See, that's where I want to show up day one. Like this? If it got to this over time. Right. So it's not, like, pure white, but a little off-white, just a little it. bit, like. That's it right there. So this is very similar to the OG. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see it in the, in the thing. Yeah, I don't know if they can. But if you guys, well, I'll try to get a picture or something. But yeah, yeah. I think I did a review on this back in the day, too. If you guys want to see that, we'll check that out. Uh, no, but a this is a, you did a perfect example because, again, it came this way. And I get it. But it doesn't give that that saucy look mm -hmm. like that. I feel it. Yeah, well, and then other people are doing like acetone and like taking it off. So that way it doesn't have that look and it's kind of more even. But again, it's like you don't want to buy a pair of shoes and then have to do that to the shoe just to, no. you know what no. I'm saying? Like you should just be able to buy Especially it. 150, 180, yeah. 200, no. So overall, yeah. is me, it a Me, it'd be a pass. It's a pass? It'd be a pass for me. Okay, wait, let me see what the retail is because 150 bucks. I'll still pass. I think this is like one of those like catch it on sale. Like I wouldn't mind having it. But Maybe like, 130, 125. You know what I'm saying? I think but it's that'd just be me personally. Y'all still buy what you like. I don't dislike the shoe at all. No. Um, again, I just have to be selective <laughs> at this point. And <laughs> you're running out of room. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. On to the next one. This one I'm for sure getting. Oh yeah. This is an old school vibe. Black Toe Air Jordan 14s giving us that OG vibe. Uh, 210 is the retail. Which Jesus is like, Christ. Yeah. I would have rather see it at the 190 mark. Mm -hmm. That's just me, I know. But I tell people all the time, once you get to that 200 and you break the 200 mark, it gets real tough. Like, I got to buy that for 200. That's a lot. Yeah. And I don't know if like, 
I truly don't think prices will ever be able to go down. Like, I feel like maybe they can do it one day, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. And it's just gonna keep slowly going up. And we're gonna get to the point where it's just like, these retail prices are ridiculous. Like, what happened to the days when you could go buy a pair of retros for 140, 160 bucks? You know what I'm I get, I get inflation, I get all the other things, yada yada, whoop de whoop, but like, bruh. <laughs> 210. Again, um, 185, 190 is a benchmark for a lot of people, and it'd be a make or break on a shoe to come out, and they're like, because imagine, now you go to a resale, where are they going to be at, 250 Right, even if you're paying like a little over retail, you're paying yeah. 240 250 and then people got to pay tax, too. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so like, you got 7% up to 10% so they're, tax. They're paying 210 but then realistically, they might be paying like... 225 yeah. and then it's like you go to the resale store and they're like well we want to make 40 bucks well then you're already at 265 270 right there you see what i'm saying see now it gets you to passing the shoe up and then it's like okay you got all these shoes coming out and you want to get three or four shoes a month that's six hundred dollars a thousand <laughs> like if you think about it like the other thing about the consumer if you're gonna drop the shoes this much Drop them, drop them, drop them, drop them. And you see each week, three, four pairs coming out. We got 10 pairs, 12, uh, 12 pair mm -hmm. a month coming out. Yeah, we the fact that we are doing these videos is crazy if you think about it compared to the past because remember before it was like, okay, you had like, let's get, let's take it back to 2008. You had the CDP pack, you knew that was coming out each month. And then you had like some Jordan 1 mids, which was hot, you know, that was cool. Yeah. There might be like a colorway, maybe like the Father's Day ones or something coming out or like one Bro, of them. They're things. busting. And there's like a retro, you know, but now it's like, okay, we're going through these lists of shoes of 12 to 14 different retros that's releasing each month. And it's like you divide that by four weeks, it's crazy. Plus they have like a surprise a surprise drop in the morning at seven o'clock. Yep. To like a couple times a month. Yep. It just it's just it's wild to think about. Uh either way. It's hard to catch up. Buy what you like, make sure you know you do what you do. It's hard when you like a lot though. Then buy them all. <laughs> you see behind us? <laughs> but anyway, I'll leave that alone. Okay. <clears throat> a cop for both of us. For sure it's a cop. Okay. Next up right here, we got the Luca 3s. And... That just changed colors. Yeah, it was a whole different shoe that I just saw originally. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think about these? <laughs> I don't know. What is that color? Is that pink? What is that? It's a... Which one? It's purple on the tongue, this. pink on the bottom, and then blue, like... Uh, it's kind of like a Miami kind of vibe. Like, I think feet. they did too much. I think it's a waste of time. I think the shoe itself is a good shoe. We've been talking about this. The colorway. But the colorways, they've been blowing it on some of the shoes. Luca and Tatum, I don't know where they keep coming with those two shoes. To me, 130 bucks. They're lucky it's 130 bucks. It's still not a cop for me personally. If you like them, you like them. I'm not into all those wild colors. But I'll say, I don't know why those two people that keep blowing their shoes. The new Tatums, I saw them in person. I was like, these are fire. That's like, what I'm saying. They got only a few colors. But they got to like, get the know. colorway right, though. That's right. the thing. Like They've done uh, a great job on putting the shoe together. Yeah. They're, they're not ugly shoes. Yeah. But some of these colors, you ain't even a team color. Like, that's it's not what, even a color that you can use for your team. That was my argument, too. I'm like, okay, is this like your local 24 hour fitness hooper shoe or like what? Because, like, <laughs> who is, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, imagine trying to match the outfit, the shoes, the shorts, the t shirt, whatever. You're going to be flashy, like, I'm going to go hoop. <laughs> You out there with the <laughs> pink shorts and the purple uh team No, either. you're not getting picked up on my team. <laughs> I'm gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to call winners yourself. <laughs> Put them on the list at the bottom of the list. <laughs> he got next after the three games. 
By the way, quick disclaimer, all the sneakers are listed down below in the description when it comes to release dates, prices, and information like that. Now let's take it to the next shoe. <laughs> this one, highly anticipated on my behalf at least. 210 bucks, I wish it was not that price, but either way, the Olive Air Jordan 9s, this is just classic, so clean. Oh, I wish I still had my pair in my collection. I'm looking forward to getting these back. I never like, owned them. Oh, I love these. I've been trying to grow more into greens and browns and stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause I, you know, everybody know I'm really stuck to black, white, reds kind of things. Yeah. But this shoe right here, I wish I could own. The colorway is smooth. This is one of those shoes you can't really blow it <sighs> with, with so many different colorways. Yeah. It's clean, it's clean, it's clean. And I think, oh yeah, this is just... it, the the greens and browns are starting to grow on me more. Cause at first I was like, oh hell no, I like every time. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think with this clean. with this being such a classic, it's just I don't know, it's just hard to pass up. But even like the uh, UNC nines that came out, the white with the powder blue, like classic you know the og heads go crazy for it but then it's like sitting on shelves you catch it on sale like you know this one i think because it's a dark model it's gonna be a little bit more but it's more wearable demand, too yeah especially for the fall time and those different things so i could see these being sold out in bigger sizes when they release uh but you can still find them at retailers depending on the size i don't know most people haven't hooped in these shoes but for me, this was a good hooping shoe solid, on top. It was a solid hooping shoe. It was a good, a good hooping shoe. And pretty comfortable, like, if you had to wear it for the day. Mm -hmm. Like, you could wear it for the day, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I got to take these off. Yeah. Like, so if they keep, like, the same inside where they cool on that, it's a good looking shoe. Good up. luck. It's worth the I think, too, like... You said good luck. They going <laughs> to blow it? Well, it's just <laughs> more of, like, the shoes are kind of <laughs> built for lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like... They, that's that's how I look at it at this point. It's like, yeah, you could hoop in these in these retros, but it's just it's different days, different times, different tech. Like you could probably say I had a better hooping experience in them Lucas because it's a performance Jordan basketball sneaker. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. they're gonna go in on that element. So yeah, you can still go hooping them. You could probably say yeah, they're somewhat comfortable, but I think it just hits different. And then the way they're set up and built now with the materials and stuff, it's just like they're not as comfortable as they used to be. So Man. for me, I'm like, I don't I see hate it. that. I see it. Because if I brought some retros and they, 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 I'm thinking they're gonna feel like the old ones. I'd be mad. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not like that no more. But I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we always say we hope for polyurethane insoles, which is a, a lot nicer, gives you a better mm -hmm. feel uh, on the OG colorways. So I'm assuming that's what they'll give us on this one, which will help it out a little bit. But then at the same time, it's like. I think it's just more of a lifestyle, yeah, wear with an outfit type sneaker. Look good, put it yeah. on four hours, take it off. Okay, so this next one, very excited about. I've seen these, I love these. The only problem is... Not in our size. Yeah. This one are the ones they're gonna bring out in girl sizes only? Yeah. And I mess with these too. So, you got the women's velvet bread 11s. Major switch up. You know how they have like the reimagined series and stuff like that. I think this kind of falls in line with the reimagined series. You go from patent leather to a velvet material or a suede or whatever, like that's completely different, right? Yeah. Kind of opposite. So I like how they went about these, the execution. I think this is an extremely dope shoe. People can hate on it. They could say that it's, you know, it should just be like the OG. We've seen other versions of these. There's a navy version. There's a uh, oh, yeah, there's yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah, a yeah, burgundy yeah. version. Yeah. There's a, you know what I'm saying? There's other versions that they've already done in the women's series in the past. So for them to now give us the bread like this, I think it's super dope. You know me, I got all the variations of the bread 11s. So I'm like- You got two, <laughs> many. <laughs> so I'm like, right. So I'm like, I want these just because of that aspect, you know? But the other thing is, fellas, if you don't get your girls these, these are you clean. slipping. These are clean. If she don't have some of these by Christmas, you slipping. Cause I think all girls that like Jordan shoes should have this in their collection. Yeah. I think, imagine, you know, your girl got small feet. The proportions but, are crazy on yeah. the small size. It just looks so perfect. It's like with the small size, you know, they got that six, seven, eight like that. Yeah. It's going to look good on your girl's feet. Okay. so. 
what's gonna happen? Are these gonna be at all the stores when we go to them after the release? Like they better not or be. Or is they just gonna be gone? If they, <laughs> I think they're gonna be sitting. If these are sitting, think about I'm it. I'm gonna okay. be upset. Think about it. The uh um. These should not be sitting. Y'all tell us in the comments if you think it's gonna sit. Me personally, I'm saying no. He's saying yeah. And y'all can help me out by getting them for your girl. What's the name of the, uh, what's it, the Gratitude 11s? Mm -hmm. The DMPs. Mm -hmm. Remember? Those were sitting. We found, I found big sizes at the stores, which was crazy because typically the big sizes sell out and I was finding big sizes. So for these in particular, yeah, there might be like the largest women's size sold out, but I think they're gonna be heavily available sitting at a lot of different spots if they made this in a baby size they would be so icy Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. those would be so icy but yeah i don't know that's kind of how i feel it just, about it even the way it's shaped everything y'all can look at the pictures later yeah. the way it's shaped everything it's got that i just think i don't think people want to spend 230 on these like i don't see it i feel like people are like 180. It is a girl shoe though you know for two thirty. Like why would I? You know, I, I could see people wanting to spend one eighty. And I but could, it's velvet. They might, they might come out and go on sale somewhere. I think it could happen. We'll see. I don't know. We're in a crazy time right now. Today's partner is Sneaker Throne. They have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases. One of my personal favorites is the drop side display case. I'm a size 13 and I can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers. When it comes to the cases in particular, you have four different color options, clear, black, white, and red. So if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else, make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code DNA show at checkout for 10% off for all your orders. We we have the Jumpman Jack Dark Wasn't this Mocha. Before? I think so. I think we did talk about these before. So this is two hundred dollars retail. Travis Scott's first model, the Jumpman Jacks. Now they are uh, coming out in this colorway. We've seen a couple other colorways. We saw some a bunch of other colorways set to come out. There's a navy version, different colors, lime green, different stuff like that. These are clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. love these. What do you think? And I think I think when I first saw these, I was like, eh, on the fence about these. But again, I'm growing more to these colors, and I'm kind of up in my stuff, and I'm liking it more. Like I said, it, I'm, I'm growing more to this stuff. It's clean. <laughs> so when you get into these colors and that that right there, man, I think uh, I think they did a good job on the shoe. I didn't, I, again, I don't be checking the market on all this stuff until later. And at this point, I don't even be checking the market on shoes no more. But it, I think this is one of them shoes that's like, it's going to come out and they're going to be worth some money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to be just cheap. Like, you could just get them. I think there's certain shoes and certain colors. That I didn't do. never know his name was in here backwards. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, what? <laughs> but there's certain colors and shoes that, uh, that just sit like that and there's other ones that's like no they still hit they didn't put the jack on the bottom of that one no you know how to get the jack off ah oh, <laughs> one stroke at a time <laughs> nah you wear the shoes and the jack comes off uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay <laughs> That's the only way you get the jack off is if you wear the shoes. <laughs> you gotta wear them. <laughs> oh my god. But you can only do it once. <laughs> After this office, no, no you can't do it again. Okay, next up right here, we have the Fear Air Jordan 4s set to come out. 215 bucks. <laughs> uh, go ahead, talk about these. What you think about these? I think this is a good shoe. I think this was supposed to come out before. Oh, I feel like I've seen this before. Mine are in the garage. Unless you already have these. Yeah, I have them. That's how I've seen them before. They're in the garage. Okay. Because I'm like, I swear I've seen these before. I didn't know they were still coming out. But you be getting stuff early, so I don't know what's up. No, no, no. I had the original pair. <laughs> oh, okay. And I just like, they're beat up. I'll just be wearing them like whatever. Yeah. But I that, I want these because. You would want them again. Yeah, though. yeah. Like I want a yeah, fresh definitely. pair. And it's got the new cut with the OG cut. You know what I'm saying? Giving us that style. So seeing the retros and coming out with that new iteration giving us that og vibe mm -hmm. i think is dope i also thought it would be interesting uh if they did the og cut only on the og colorways and then did a retro cut like back like the how it was 
on the retro colorways. You get what I'm saying? If that makes sense? Like the- It's a little extra, but okay. You get what I'm saying? Like two separate yeah. ones. Then it's like, you're getting that OG thing, but they're giving us they, the OG they vibe mix and stuff, though. with all they the different colors. Yeah. Which again, I don't have a problem with it. I just thought it was kind of interesting conversation piece type thing. Yeah, but, and it's tough though, because remember we got into that before, when you start making changes too much of the original stuff, trying to do yeah. too much to it, and then you kind of mess it up sometimes. And then you gotta go and it's just two different things at the factory producing it and then it, it would just cost the brand too much it would just be too much yeah. going on so the fear pack air jordan threes came out now the air jordan fours are coming out and the fives is the last one that came out in the original fear pack i'll tell you about what happened with my fear fives mm -mm. What? i had got the fear fives i got the whole pack i had all three and then when they originally came out then i wore my fours I had the threes for a while, got rid of them, and then I had my fives and I had them for like, maybe like three years, right? And I was like, I'm about to rock these now. Pull them out, and the freaking shoes were a size 14. <laughs> they were supposed to be for me. In a size 13 box. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I got them from Nike. Like I had got them at Nike, and just was like, didn't check the shoe All size. Time. They're just sitting in the box. You know how sometimes I just get stuff and I'll just be throwing yeah. it in the stacks and then like, some years might go by and I'll pull it out and be like, damn, I haven't opened these since I got them. Right, and it was right. like one of that type of situation. So now I'm like, I need the Pfizer Retro because I want to wear them. <laughs> I remember we did that with some shoes. And we didn't open it, so shoes, I don't know what it was, for a long time. And it had two left shoes in there. Oh. You, never, you never look at them and you have two left shoes. You're like, yep. how do we do this? I got the Dornbaker 8s. Uh, I got the Dornbaker 8s. Literally signed by the kid on the box and everything. Go home and uh, I had the adults pair and I got a kid's pair. The kid's pair was two different sizes. One foot was one One foot was like a six and the other foot was like a seven. I'm like, bruh, what is going on? It's crazy. One time I got the uh, countdown pack and I got, it was a size, uh, there was like, all we got is a 14 left. It was a sixes in the, uh, what was that? What was in that pack? The I six. Remember. I can't do math right now. The six is in the. I can't think. I can't add. Either way, six is in the seventeens. That makes twenty three. Uh, it was a six seventeen pack. That's right. It was a six seventeens. And left foot, or or the sixes was a a fourteen, and the seventeens was a size sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck? This they ain't even close. No. <laughs> See, because you know, you open the pack up, you slide the drawers. So I'm like, I didn't check it because like, I knew I was like, oh, I wear a 13, but I'm gonna like try to trade the 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna just still buy it because that's yeah. all they had left. These motherfuckers. And There's I got no that. way you trade those 17. Bruh, I don't even remember that. I gotta, I gotta remember the story about like what I did and how I got oh. rid of them. I think I might have sold them individually. Oh my god. But yeah, that was, I got a bunch of like wild, <laughs> random, like, and this is like, I buy this stuff at the Nike store too. I'm like, bro, you guys oh, yeah. are messing up. Yeah. So, okay. We're they off do topic. got the people real quick. They do got, the, I know it's off topic. <laughs> Y'all tell me you've been through this, some of this, but they got the people at the store. They open up the box and they check both. Right, right, right. But how do you, how do you still miss it? Like you went through the I whole thing. I feel like, thing. but see, okay, you gotta remember back then, this is like 08, 09, 10, like, this is when it was like, not as serious, but kinda. So like, people was just like, oh yeah, yeah. Plus during the launches, <laughs> they're just like pulling the boxes and sell, boom, boom. Cause they got all these people in line. Right. So they're trying to like hurry up and get through the launch. So I'm like, okay, I get that. But I'm like, how did he even get in the box and all that? That's other my place? point. In the first place crazy okay all right we back <clears throat> on to the next one right here what do we got we got a couple more shoes left oh my gosh i need three pair two this shoe will never die 220s the retail i've seen these in person already i could <laughs> not find a 13 when we were at sneaker con so i just Did you decided look for a 14? they uh, had 12 and under hmm. so i just decided to not get them wait a minute and i was like oh wait the dude had those and i told you i think and i said it was 400 and some dollars Oh, oh yeah, I'll take that back. I did find a 13, but he was taxing. And I was like, I'm not paying that price. It's not happening. Yeah, because I think I've seen someone that was trying to get me for 400, 440 or something. Yeah, I was like. And I was like, that's a little steep I'm right now. I'm not paying it. 
Like, yeah. I'll make the video later. I'm not paying the price. Like, yeah. people just think I'll be paying crazy prices for stuff because nah. I got the shoe. And I'm like, <laughs> you, you got it messed up. I'm not yeah. paying the prices. So, okay. Great shoe, 220. I will have at least three pairs of these in my collection, maybe five. No lie. Uh, and I'll make sure that sure. everybody else gets what they need because I got other pairs in the rotation down here and over there and around there. And speaking of that, I got some cleats right here, football version. This is the old football version too. Um, I love this shoe, all the styles, all the cuts, all the iterations. That's Michael Jordan's personal pair right there. Check the sample tag. I like it. Size 13 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Black Cement 3. We'll talk about that in another day. Either way, love this I'm shoe. looking around the room as he figures stuff up. I'm like, look. <laughs> Duck threes, you name it. Okay. Uh, it's a cop. <laughs> it's definitely a cop. I'm excited to compare these against the white cements. I'm but, excited but to compare with some. Where do you draw the line movies. at? Where do you draw the line at for? You really want these shoes? Mm -hmm. Is it like three hundred price? Yeah, like okay, I really want them, but I don't want to pay over three hundred. Okay, so for me, in my buying situation, how much time we got? Oh yeah, we looking good. Okay, in my buying situation, because I'm getting so many, I'm not gonna get them all at the same price, unless I find a bulk deal somewhere and somebody else is buying bulk, and I'm like, hey, let me tap on that bulk real quick and mm -hmm. get a couple pairs, mm -hmm. but. Typically with that, usually those resellers are like paying over retail and all the other stuff, right? So I'm gonna take all the avenues, exhaust all the avenues for my retail options first. Go for that and then I'm gonna say, all right, if I can get these for retail and let's say uh, retail is 220 and they're worth, by the time you know resale value goes down, they're worth 260, right? Mm -hmm. and, people, and the resellers are trying to sell them for 280, 300 bucks, right? I'm saying, okay, let me try to like dollar cost average this out a little bit. So I'm going to get as many pairs as I can for retail. So let's say I hit on two for retail and the other ones I'm like, all right, I got to spend 300 on one and I'm going to get another one I found for 240. So that average is out about like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the other ones is there. So my average between the five pairs, I was in a 234 or something like that. That's kind of how I look at it when it goes to that process. So you're around 235, you would say? Under 240 for <laughs> sure. Yeah, a hundred percent under 240. Because in my head, we don't have taxes here, so people got to pay taxes. That's a blessing, for right? Us. So I'm like, we don't, we don't got taxes. People got to pay taxes. So if I'm paying 240, that's like I had to pay taxes. Like, oh, I was out of town and shopping, and I got them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, cause sometimes I'll get a shoe at a mall. Like that's how I got your uh, gratitude 11s. Like I was in Texas or something, right. and the dude was like, oh, you can get an extra pair if you want to, and I was like, cool, I'll take a 14 too. And I had to pay tax. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Like, people pay tax. So right. I get it. So, that's how well, I think about it. Most of the stuff, we don't have to pay tax. So, yeah. you gotta make it a factor. That's how I think about it. But since I don't have the same avenues as you, I, me personally, for my one pair, I'm not your five, but my one pair, I wouldn't want to be over 300. I would want to be at that 300 mark for me to yeah. go, cool in a 14. I'm happy I got these. I know I can rock them for the 300. And they'll be worth that in time and everything yeah. like that, so it makes sense. Yeah. I get that. That'd but, be me. But in all actuality, you're probably not gonna end up paying for them, and then I'm gonna have to buy you. Well, a we didn't tell the people that. I'm just saying, if I had the chance. Oh yeah. Whatever. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this my pair with the six. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> so I need five thirteens and one fourteen, right, please. Right. <laughs> So yeah, no, I think it's a great shoe. I'm excited about these for mm -hmm. sure. Next up right here, Game Royal. So they did this in a high top version some years ago. And then now we're doing a low top version, OG cut, not the 85 OG, but just the OG, retro OG right. cut. Uh, 140 bucks retail. This shoe is clean. I need them, but I only want to spend like a hundred bucks on these. I wish I could be like him sometimes, but me personally, <laughs> I really want the shoe, love the shoe. That's one of my colorways. Y'all know how I am at the Royals, but I'd still be up there. Wouldn't mind paying the 180 to 200. Mm -hmm. That'd be me. Mm -hmm. If it came out in 14 now, it's hard to get 14. Some of y'all know. I don't think y'all pay 200 for these. But I'm just saying for me, I wouldn't max, I would max out at that. I wouldn't go over that. Yeah. But you know, if the girls up in Seattle was hit me for 200, I'd pay them 200. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out Sneak City. <clears throat> Sneak City. But okay. 
That's be me. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Either way, that's a cop. So, all right, let's cap this What did it come out at? Uh, 140 bucks. Oh yeah, so I got yeah. a little room to get a little. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, let's cap this off and run through it. Give me your three sneakers. If you could only get three for the month, what would they be? No particular order, it doesn't really matter. Just tell me what your three are out of this month. Honestly, it's kind of solid month if you think about it. It is. So I'm gonna go with the Royals. The I'm Royal go, One Lows. I'm gonna go with the Cements. The Black Cement Threes. And this where it goes crazy. I gotta, I gotta go right here. The Fear Fours. The Fear Fours. Uh -huh. <laughs> That'd be me right there. Them was my colorways. Okay. Like, that's me. Okay. Like, I know I would rock all these. Yeah. And I could at any time. I feel that. Okay. For me, number one on the list, Black Cement 3s. I got to put that on there. Right, right, right. Next up, all of nines. Because I got this pair and the retros with the ribs on the sides and stuff, mm -hmm. I think that's what is going to push me towards the Fear 4s. So, I'm going to go with the Fear 4s as number three. This shoe is so clean. To me, but yeah, you already got them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but I'm gonna get another pair. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> this is a different retro. I need the new retro. You know what I'm saying? The, the eras. So I you said all. in place of that one, you gonna go with what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Fury Force. Yeah. Yep. So I you didn't I mean, go for the Jumpman Travis Scott? I think I'm gonna still get the jacks off, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get those off with a fit. The Jumpman jacks. Right. right you know what I'm saying? Right. But they are clean. But the Jumpman Jackson the Olive Nines is like same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. for me, I'm like I want the Olive Nines. But the Olive Nine. Now here, here, here's where we go crazy. I know we're running out of time. But to me, when you break the Olive Nine out, mm -hmm. everybody not gonna have it mm -hmm. like they're gonna have that Jumpman. That Travis. The Travis Scott. Scott. Yeah. Oh, I got the Travis Scott. I got the. No, you're being a follower too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hype bees kind of thing. But that yeah. Olive Nine, that's I think, not Hype Bees shoe. I think because they're so similar, and if I had to choose, mm -hmm. I would go with the Olive Nines uh, on that on that element. Cause I, I mean, for me, I still rock some nines with some pants. I'm gonna make it fly. We gonna they're gonna be like, no, you can't do it. Watch, watch. I'm gonna pull something off. So okay, that's what it's looking like. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What are some of your favorite releases coming out this month? What are your top three? Do you hate all the shoes? What would you pay for them? All the different things that we would love to hear down below in the comment section. Also, make sure you guys follow his pages: TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Get your boy up. We'll have it linked on the page and everything linked down below in the description. You got anything else before we go? I just want to ask y'all. Should we show him the new car? Oh my god. Nah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you, you got me sidetracked. I can't even think no more. Oh my god. What was you going to ask him? What was oh. you going to ask If y'all made it this far, y'all need to see the new car. <laughs> November 7th, my birthday. I'm going to show it. It's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> couple more days. Couple more days. All right, what was you about to ask him? <laughs> Oh, is y'all <laughs> still buying and selling right now? Oh yeah. Because there's people kind of holding back and I don't know what the reasons are, but my question is, are you still buying and selling? Or are you just trying to get off a whole bunch of stuff at low prices uh -huh. and mess up the market? Cause I see in a lot of people like the stock market, they would do just sell, sell, sell and mess up the market when it really don't need to be sold. Yeah. You just hold on. I don't know. I think, honestly, I don't think it's messing up the market cause, because realistically, even in the stock market, there's a correction. There's always a correction and it happens all the time. And I think we're in the time of when we call it a stock market correction or a sneaker market correction. It's just getting out all of the people that weren't really about that life, oh, yeah, weren't yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. sneaker head, weren't really about that, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they just got in it. Right, and there's a negative stigma uh, of being a reseller, right? Right. But it's like, you can't get shoes in every city. Somebody has to go get the shoe in that city and sell it to you, and what you expect them to do, work for free and just give, you just get it for nothing? Like, that don't make sense. Like, you can still take care of people, give good deals, have those things. And for people to say, oh, that's not a thing. It's definitely a thing. You know we live in Oregon. Excuse me. We live in Oregon and their shoes didn't came out and we didn't get. Right, because they didn't come we out had the whole to, state. Yeah, and we had to go to another show in a different, whole different state to Just find to a shoe. It. And 
and that's the and that's the thing again that sneakerheads, quote unquote sneakerheads nowadays, uh, don't like because they want everything to be easy and it's just supposed to come to them because oh, we're, we're not, everybody's supposed to get a ribbon, right? Everybody just gets everything and oh. we should just, it should just all be, <laughs> bro. What like? What happened to camping out and going earning the shoe or okay no that's not safe anymore because everybody well people yes I understand nothing's safe nothing's this I'm there's always the bad and there's always the good to everything there's always an argument for that at the end of the day but either way but you gotta work for something but, but, I mean it what, can't just be well oh, I got it it's at every place and then it, what happened to going to places networking having conversations with people and actually creating relationships not only for the benefit of just getting the shoe but actually having a relationship with a human being and knowing them meeting their kids having fun with their family going on vacations and you happen to share an interest in sneakers so because they went out of town and they happen to be in Tokyo they grabbed you a pair too and they showed you love and you kicked them some extra bucks because they were out there and you didn't get the shoot what happened to those times that's still a thing it happens we're still going through that it still <laughs> works it still works let's yeah. talk about it because it does there's, there's there's some fact to that a lot of people like want <laughs> everything just today at disposal like it should just show up right here and i should just have this right and it ain't fair that you got one i should have one right matter of fact i should have two and you should have one <laughs> like there are so many people like that right now and yeah, I know. Okay, I know we're going it. on to another thing, and it's kind of getting me mad sometimes. Because no, because you see it in the comments. People not really want to work for it's, stuff. It's grown ass men complaining about this shit. Oh, the only reason why I couldn't get it is because you got two pairs. Yeah, you took up all the sizes. <laughs> right. I got two pair of 13s or 14s. You were a 10, right. and you couldn't get them because I got a bigger size than you, and I got two pair? And it's not even your size. Oh. <laughs> Man, I, we didn't we <laughs> heard some conversations. Man, I, I could have got those, but you got them first. <laughs> yes. You don't wear a 13 or a 14. Right. Yeah. It ain't be a struggle because they don't be barely making them in our size. Or the people be like, <laughs> we be at some events. I got to tell y'all this. Angry Joe know about this one too. <laughs> we be at events and people go, what size is those? Those are clearly a 13 or a 14. We clearly see you wear a nine or a ten. Right, man. I was gonna buy those if, if those was my size. <laughs> you know, first off, those size. was eight thousand dollars. You weren't gonna buy them, and you knew they weren't your size. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, ah! Yeah, I don't know. There's again, that's literally scratching the surface of all the gripes and everything. And I said I need to make a video about it. It's funny because I was gonna make a video, and I was like, maybe we should make it you and me together oh we gotta do, do it. it and i need to write out like a list of let like me go ham on all some the people. comments i won't say no names no i'll just like write out a list of the different comments that stick out because there's valid points to those things too but then i'm like they're also it's like to an extent or it's an outlier situation or whatever you have to think about the commonalities and the averages of what actually happens and all the other stuff like i think Sometimes things get taken to extreme and obviously you can say whatever you want in the comments But section. isn't there an exception to every rule? That's why even giving birth they say 99.9% .9%, there's nothing they won't they won't give you a hundred percent Right, so there's an exception to every rule, but then you might be the one exception and we have 99 other Examples right and we can go on about that and you're still gonna say yeah, but not me and that's the thing. That's the thing. I was just, man, we can might as well make the other video soon. <laughs> I'm literally, literally people say, well, well, for you, yeah, it's easy to say. Yeah, because I put in the time. I met I'm the me. people. I did the stuff. Like, you got to do that. And what do I do? Teach y'all about it. Make the video. Show y'all. Help y'all. Put y'all on game. Like, you got questions. I answer them. I make videos. Like, But if you've been in the game two years. In time, in any market. And you expect to have the same right knowledge clout access whatever you want to call it everybody wants everything as somebody fast. that's been already 15 18 years into the same thing that you're doing you're pretty much gonna be behind i'm like literally coming up on almost 20 years of like <laughs> seriously being in the shoe game not even counting like all the times of the years me having kicks as a kid and all yeah yeah like it's but crazy you're doing it yourself like, like the young kid in high school learning the stuff doing the thing like 
And everybody's like, well, that's, yeah, you can do it too. Yeah. That's like, I don't know. All right, we're going to anyway, make a video. into this. I'm sorry about that. We're kind of ranting, but we've been going through a lot of stuff. We hear a lot of comments and people don't understand like what he's put in. I want to tell in. So I haven't put in the work by far as he has, but I've been around and I've seen a lot and I read the comments and I go on his page sometimes and I, I try not to argue with people because I'm like, Mm -hmm. What you're saying don't even make sense. Yeah. And I'll comment back to him. Then they want to go ham on me because I said, no, the shoes that he's showing you is not fake. And he would never show fake shoes. Stuff like that. Kind of stuff yeah. like that. Like or the one where that. people say, oh, well, it'll, it's or like they're trying to downplay what I did because I didn't get you a pair this time. Right, right. I'm like, the amount of shit that you got and all the other stuff. And oh. it's like, I don't do what? this. Oh. You know how many things that you get that there was aren't a, on camera? They went like, ham. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they were, they went ham on one video about him not getting me something. Oh, you didn't do that for your dad. Da, 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 da. The things that him and I do for each other, especially he do for me we as well. We don't do it for the camera. It's not all for the camera. There's some stuff we just show and sometimes I don't even know I'm getting it. But I've literally seen comments going ham like, you didn't do this for him. And I'm like, but I already have some of those <laughs> in the closet that he's already gotten me. Yeah. We've crazy. literally took some shoes I already got and just showed him like he just got them because we already got them. Yep. And he's like, oh, you didn't get you for that. I already got these it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's not for the camera. And you guys, again, we don't make videos just cause all oh, we want to show this and everything else. Right. You know, we love each other. We want to do this together and show y'all like stuff, uh, experience and everything else like that. I get that, yeah. but it's not the show off by no means. Yeah, that's what's, I know, it's tough. <laughs> and some and people think you only here to show off. I'm you know? here to show my love for sneakers and, and the, the exclusive stuff. That's my love. I love those random things and yeah. stuff that's cool and stuff yeah. that you can't see all the time. Like that's a part of it too. And it's like, somebody got to show it. Like, yeah, I, don't cause know. if I was a young sneaker head and I had the ability to go see that in great detail, I would be watching those videos too. But there's sometimes, a lot of time, not just sometimes that he's literally brought shoes out. And I've been like, so freaking excited. Just like, Oh my God, that everybody can't even see these shoes <laughs> because they ain't even supposed to be out there like that for he, one. But for two, oh, if they would have made this in my time. Right. And so I'm still excited over the shoe. Yep. Some stuff we can't show, some stuff you can. We be at events and there's people that's really excited over shoes. Yeah. And really know what they looking at. Those people that you know I'm talking to because uh -huh. we've shaken your hand and been in video. Those people who we make the videos for, those are the people that you love to meet, sign t-shirts, hang out with, go eat with because yep. the interest is there yep. it's genuine not no fake bull crap that you sitting there oh yeah he uh, man can you help me do this right can you give me this give me something free man you see those comments all the time why can't ever free right how why can't you work for it either <laughs> how about that everybody else gotta work for it so anyway i always say we gotta cut this video short we kind of <laughs> going on but i always say every time i appreciate all y'all coming up to us talking to us you know, doing autographs, everything, taking pictures. I appreciate it. I know that we all doing the same thing, having a love for the same culture. And that right there is big ups. I love that part. Um, and <laughs> to finish it all off, if you guys made it this far, we got some shoes for my dad. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no. I'm just playing. <laughs> no. Like, no. <laughs> He got me some last week. Now, now I'm looking around, seeing if I got anything up here. Oh, the other shoes. He said, he said, I gave you these shoes. I've been had those for months. I was like, he didn't even tell me. <laughs> anyway, let's get off this video. I appreciate y'all. Deuces. Get, get to your boy. Yeah, yeah. More videos coming soon. All right. Shit. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down and send my DNA. The only 